Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the University of the Philippines Visayas opening exercises for academic year 2021 to 2022. I am Isabella Kainglet, Faculty of the College of Management, Master of Ceremonies. Today, we welcome our incoming first-year students, the new batch of ISCOS and ISCAS. And we also warmly greet our returning students. How fast time flies! Our first batch of K-12 students are now seniors in college. We commend all of you for being resilient and committed. Ululupod sa pag-aram, rising above the challenges of remote learning. The pandemic did not spare anyone, and many are still battling against the difficulties. But we will get through the obstacles. We will become better individuals and make wiser decisions. Though we are apart, we are here, ready to learn together, ready to face the new normal. Let us begin our program with a moment of reflection to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem. To give the opening remarks, let us welcome UPV Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Dr. Philip Ayan P. Padilla. Chancellor Clement Capusano, fellow Vice Chancellors, Deans, Chairs, Directors, fellow faculty members, fellow workers in government, 
returning upper class students, freshies, welcome to UPV academic year 2021-2022. For the past one year and a half, we have been operating in a remote learning mode, a challenge both for faculty and students within the university. We cannot deny that it's also a challenge for your parents, siblings, other faculty members, and other stakeholders. It entails a change in perspective when it comes to teaching and learning, both in basic and higher education. All of you by now has had extensive experience with remote learning with various exposures to different learning management systems. In UPV, we have had our own UPV learning management system designed and developed for and by UPV faculty members, both in Iloilo and Tacloban campuses. Our incoming freshies already had their remote learning 101 session this August. And as we continue to use the remote learning mode, we must also strive to transition into the, blur, into the blended learning mode where a mix of face-to-face -face and remote learning is used. In fact, for the, for the BS Public Health Program, the senior class will try to transition this first SEM contingent upon the CHED approval of our application for a limited face-to-face -face session here in UPV. We hope to engage with you further as we try to optimize our teaching and learning strategies during this pandemic. Lastly, I urge all of you to take advantage of this opportunity to develop your competencies here in UPV, foremost of which is your lifelong learning skills, your capacity to do independent study and critical thinking, and most importantly, resilience, as we move to a new set of world order post-COVID-19. As a medical doctor, I would be remiss if I don't remind you of the minimum public health standards that you should practice at home during this remote learning mode when you enter the University of the Philippines, Visayas. We always wear face covering, frequent washing of hands, and physical or social distancing. So lastly, let me say welcome again to UP Visayas. Stay safe and be healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vice Chancellor Padilla. The University of the Philippines Visayas has three campuses. The majestic main campus in Miagao is nestled between the mountains and the sea. Meanwhile, the historic Iloilo City campus is near the esplanade that runs along the Iloilo River. And the formidable UPV Tacloban campus is located along Magsaysay Boulevard in Tacloban City, in Northeast Leyte, directly facing the southern side of Samar. I suppose many of you are eager to visit and explore these sites, while some are nostalgic and have been yearning to return. But for now, let us enjoy this virtual tour specially prepared by the UPV Information and Publications Office. The University of the Philippines Visayas, an institution fueled by its strengths in teaching, research, and public service, is committed to sustaining its role in higher education and development. UP Visayas constantly seeks ways to initiate activities and deepen engagement with communities recognizes that its role goes beyond education. The university is a constituent unit of the UP system. It is composed of three campuses strategically located in Nyagao Iloilo, which serves as the main campus, 
Iloilo City, and Tacloban City. With this, the university is home to individuals from various places in the Visayas and even its surrounding regions. UP Visayas consists of four colleges and a school, the College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences, the College of Arts and Sciences, the College of Management, UPV Tacloban College, and the School of Technology. The university continues to be a center for fisheries education and is positioning itself to expand its capabilities in other fields that bring innovative and transformative change in communities. Research and extension activities are fully supported by external funding agencies and service units internal to the university. In Miagao, the National Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology performs biotechnology research in aquaculture, fish processing, and the biology of aquatic organisms. The Miagao campus also houses the freshwater aquaculture station and hatchery laboratories that support fisheries and marine biology students. UPV has experimental ponds at the Brackish Water Aquaculture Center found in Liganes, Iloilo and the Batan Marine Culture Station in Batan, Aklan. It further maintains a marine biological station in Taklong Island, situated in Nueva Valencia de Maras, which is considered a national marine reserve. UPV researchers are committed to studies on the conservation of natural resources with special focus and specializations in marine and coastal habitats. The Regional Research Center was institutionalized to strengthen the university's research capabilities. Envisioned to be a dynamic and advanced research institution in the Asia-Pacific region, the center will lead in innovation in the fields of fisheries, aquatic sciences, and allied disciplines. The center will provide access to analytical equipment and will serve as a training ground for method and development research. Its state-of-the-art instrumentation and laboratories include the following Material Science and Nanotechnology Laboratory Chemistry Laboratory Biology Laboratory Food Science Laboratory Genomics and Biochemistry Laboratory Microbiology Laboratory Other support facilities are the Center for West Visayan Studies in Iloilo and the Leyte Summer Heritage Center in Tacloban. The offices initiate research and undertake diverse activities that are directed to revitalize, promote, and preserve Visayan arts and culture. These centers are trailblazers in highlighting local and indigenous knowledge and systems of various communities. The Office of Continuing Education in Pahinungod allows the university to create and enrich partnerships with the community. The office establishes linkages through trainings, community development, and capacity building programs that are intended to benefit private and public institutions. The Gender and Development Program spearheads the advocacy role in promoting the welfare and rights of women, children, and gender diverse communities. This is translated through their gender mainstreaming, gender affirmative and sensitive trainings and seminars for government agencies, private organizations, schools, and community sectors. It also aligns itself with the functions of the university in education, public service, and research to the gender responsive and inclusive approaches. The UPV GDP is also the coordinator of the Oksada Gender Resource Network of Western Visayas that consists of over 70 partner agencies, organizations, and schools from all over the region. The Centro ng Wikang Filipino undertakes activities geared towards the promotion of the Filipino language in the region. The SWF takes the lead in building the reach of the Filipino language through research, training and development, and education. UP Visayas prides itself with the Filipina Genome Center, which fosters research innovations for fisheries and aquatics, agriculture, and medicine. It is mandated to conduct research and to cultivate collaboration and capacity building in the development of genome-based applications.
The university's hallowed halls are not mere places where students learn and create knowledge for their various fields of discipline. True to its core values, the university is where the tenets of service, honor, and excellence are ingrained in the heart and mind of students who become the nation's escolares ng bayan. Deemed the National University, the University of the Philippines Visayas continues to contribute in a plethora of ways to society and nation building. This university takes value in cultivating among its constituents critical thinking, social justice, and transformative contributions to dismantle dysfunctional social issues and lead in meaningful advocacies for the country. The university nurtures a culture that teaches and inspires its students to lead, innovate, fuel their passions, broaden their perspectives, shift their conventional paradigms, and proactively participate in diversity and inclusion. The UPV education and environment for its students and constituents are compassionate and transcendent in pursuit of service and excellence. This is the University of the Philippines, Visayas. Thank you very much to UPV IPO for curating those beautiful images of UPV. Our new students now have a good picture of what's in store for them here in the university. But more than the physical structures, the university boasts of its competent faculty, researchers, extension and professional staff, and administrative staff. At the helm is our vibrant and dynamic chancellor who will now give his message to the students and present the UPV officials. Ladies and gentlemen, let us warmly welcome Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Visayas, Dr. Clement C. Camposano. My warmest greetings to all our incoming and returning students, members of the faculty and staff. Today, I welcome you not only to the new academic year, but also to the new realities that we all must face as a community on account of the ongoing pandemic. It is a time of great challenges, but also a time of hope and new possibilities. If we make a determined effort to fully understand these challenges and muster the courage to face them, there is no reason for us to not emerge victorious. That is, more capable, and with greater resolve to explore the potentials offered by digital technologies and thus bring about the university of the future. Digital technologies reshape how we communicate by emphasizing certain features of human interaction and obscuring others. This is the reason many of us find online classes daunting. Our learned reliance on visual cues and immediate feedback will have to be unlearned particularly as online classes increasingly feature asynchronous settings. Teachers and students deeply invested in notions of teaching and learning defined by face-to-face -face engagement will need to imbibe new mental habits and dispositions. Teachers need to have greater faith in their students that the latter can assume a much greater responsibility for their own learning. Students, for their part, need to become independent learners. They need to become lifelong and adaptable learners who can thrive and not merely survive in an information-rich yet fluid environment. The idea that teaching must necessarily be a directive process is nothing more than a rigid frame keeping teachers and students from reimagining education despite the possibilities highlighted by our shift to online classes. Within this mental enclosure, it is never asked how teachers might learn to teach, or indeed how students might learn differently in the new technology-mediated setting. Rather, the default question is always how teachers and students might carry on the way they have always carried on, without face-to-face -face engagement. We have long complained against teacher-centered education. Now is a good time to do something about it. 
Education needs to be reimagined as a process where the teacher is no longer seen as a sage on the stage or a purveyor of wisdom, but a facilitator of learning. And the student, no longer just an inert lump of potential awaiting the teacher's directive and creative intervention. We are the national university, and much is expected from us and from every escolar ng bayan. As we seek to lead in these uncertain times, facing this challenge of reimagining education will help ensure that, to borrow the words of one president, our sure advance with mighty prow breaks for smaller craft the waves of fear. Mabuhay ang pamantasan ng Pilipinas sa Bisayas. I now introduce the vice chancellors and the deans. Thank you very much, Chancellor Camposano. As mentioned earlier, UPV has three campuses, and these campuses host four colleges and one school. Let us learn more about them through their video presentations, starting with our flagship college, the College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences.
Leo ay naglalayong maging isa sa mga pangunahing institusyon, nagtataguyod ng kalidad na edukasyon sa larangan ng pangisdaan at agham pangkaragatan, sa pamamagitan ng pagtuklas, ng makabago at makabuluhang pag-aaral sa larangan ng pangisdaan. Pangunguna sa paggawa at pagpapatupad ng mga epektibong programa para sa komunidad at pagtataguyod ng mga patakaran sa tamang paggamit at pangangalaga ng mga yamang dagat. Pagdating.
ating anak. Naririto, Mother Diwata. We will now have the video presentation of the College of Arts and Sciences. Our college was once home to some of the country's most respectable names. From government leaders to scientists, physicians, lawyers, teachers, and artists. It is a melting pot of gifted, driven and remarkable individuals from all walks of life from different parts of the country. We are both deeply honored to be the ones to introduce to you our beloved college. We may not get to see each other face to face yet, but this does not mean that we can have fun as we begin this new journey this academic year. My name is Mayo, BA in Psychology. And my name is Marie, BA Communication and Media Studies. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the UPB College, college of, of Arts and Sciences Home of the Trailblazers. First up, let's check out the Dean's Office where we'll find our new Dean, Dr. Alice Joan G. Ferrer and her dynamic team. Let's say hi to everybody. Let's go! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the College of Arts and Sciences. This is the home of the Trailblazers. The College of Arts and Sciences is the biggest college of the University of the Philippines, Visayas, with 1,500 students, 170 members of the faculty, 55 members of the staff, and thousands of alumni and retirees. We take pride in having the most number of UP scientists and artists, outstanding students and staff. The College of Arts and Sciences was originally UP Iloilo College established on July 1, 1947, initially with 16 faculty members, 223 students, and 5 preparatory programs. UPIC became a full-fledged college in 1954, offering undergraduate and graduate degree programs in a four-year high school diploma. Later, UPIC changed its name to UP College Iloilo. Upon the establishment of an autonomous University of the Philippines in the Visayas on May 31, 1979, UPIC became the College of Arts and Sciences. The College of Arts and Sciences is one of the five degree granting units of UP Visayas. It is located in the main campus in Miagao, Iloilo, with some of its units situated in the Iloilo City Campus. The vision of CAS is to be a premier institution of liberal arts and science education, sensitive and responsive to the needs of changing times, locally and internationally. Now we're here at the office of the College Secretary where we will meet the College Secretary, Professor Steve Hanagap, and his hardworking team. Let's go! Good morning! Hi. Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the CAS Office of the College Secretary. The Office of the College Secretary is responsible for the admission, enrollment, preparation of the college calendar, and schedule of classes, and custody of student records. If you have any academic concerns, this is where students go. This is also the office where we file important requests such as substitution, waiver of prerequisite, leave of absence, completion or removal, change of matriculation, and dropping. In addition, we evaluate and process applications for transfer and shifting. We also check and verify grades and issue certificates that are needed by the students in their scholarships and job applications. Most importantly, 
we see to it that graduation academic requirements are complied by the students. The College of Arts and Sciences is composed of a lot of divisions and departments, and this is what makes us a big family. The college has five academic divisions, two academic departments, and four research and public service units. To complement these units, we have a strong faculty profile with high academic background, holding master's and PhD degrees from reputable universities, domestic or abroad. We also have highly trained support and laboratory personnel and research staff. Our academic programs are designed to make significant impact on communities in the nation. We revise our academic programs every three years to make it relevant to present times. We at the college want to mold our students to be sensitive and relevant to the society and always give back to their communities. College of Arts and Sciences to ensure learning is maximized and we have hands-on experience, our college provides the following laboratories. The Analytical Service Lab, Computer Lab, Psychology Lab, and the ISBL. At the College of Arts and Sciences, we value the voices of our students. One important avenue that supports this is the college official student publication, Pabotla. Established in 1975, Pagbutlak's birth is grounded on the tradition of struggle. The publication does not merely confront the problems faced by the students and the campus, but also by the community at large. With Pagbutlak, we go beyond campus journalism. We uphold freedom of speech and progressive thinking. Here in CAS, you also get to join organizations that suit your interests. You learn to find the balance between academic work and organizational responsibilities. As the biggest college in UP Visayas, the College of Arts and Sciences offers 14 degree programs and three postgraduate degrees. These are BS Biology, BS Public Health, BS Chemistry, BA Communication and Media Studies, BA Literature, BS Applied Mathematics, BS Computer Science, BS Statistics, BA Community Development, BS Economics, BA History, BA Political Science, BA Psychology, and BA Sociology. Master of Science in Biology, Master of Chemistry, and Master of Education with specialization in biology, English as a second language, Filipino, guidance, mathematics, physics, reading, and social studies. We can probably say that we're the most diverse college in UPV. The College of Arts and Sciences is home to four academic groups. The Red Bolts, students from the Division of Social Sciences, Skimmers from the Division of Humanities, Electrons from the Division of Physical Sciences and Mathematics, and Clovers from the Division of Biological Sciences. While there are many non-academic organizations ranging from performance groups to interest groups, the four main academic orgs to compete among each other for academic and extracurricular supremacy. CAS is not just a breeding ground for future doctors, lawyers, scientists, and artists. It is known for its unique and creative events that celebrate the talents, sportsmanship, and camaraderie of its students. The CES Student Council is the highest representation of the student body in the College of Arts and Sciences. It safeguards the welfare of the students and manages every student activity. It also plays a vital role in the creation and implementation of university policies. The Student Council has an active social media presence and students are encouraged to message them on every platform if they have any questions. CES Week is celebrated every February as part of the University Foundation Week. 
The entire week is full of festivities like the traditional CES open house, academic events such as faculty lecture series, art exhibitions and film showings, and student activities like the org fair, food fair, academic recognition, and Mr. and Miss CAS. CAS Week aims to strengthen the bond of the CAS family, feature the artistry and intellect of its faculty and student body, and celebrate tiny and big victories of the community. There you have it, guys. We hope you'll look forward to many exciting things this school year. For our upcoming freshmen, we hope that you're excited to start this new journey with us. Stay safe and strong. This has been Mayo and Marie saying, Welcome, Welcome to CAS, my Escola ng Bayan. Next, we have the College of Management. We are the College of Management of the University of the Philippines, Visayas. We take the lead in molding future financial managers, tax experts, management consultants with integrity and social responsibility. Producing future experts that will transform ideas to meet customer needs, ensure profits as marketing and promotion managers, market research analysts, and advertising sales managers. Training future bosses, corporate executives, operating officers, supervisors, leaders, and development managers. Gearing up career professionals in the private sector and government to enhance their competitive edge as they assume key leadership and managerial roles in their respective institutions. Enabling professional planners to respond more effectively to the increasing demands of urban and regional development planning. Ten years after its inception as School of Development Management, Elevated as College of Management of UP Visayas in October 1991. Since then, making a mark in educating young minds to discover their potentials. Instilling the UP ideals of academic excellence. Molding hearts to imbibe the values of citizenship and public service business consulting services, technical assistance to partners in government and other SUCs in the region through collaborative efforts, undertaking of research that translate to efficient resource utilization and policies. Propelled to achieve the vision of being a globally competitive institution of higher education in management and governance, research, and public service. Driven by its mission to provide quality education, research and public service programs in the fields of business management, public administration and governance, and urban and regional planning in pursuit of UPV's thrusts. Guided by core values of nationalism, integrity, service, excellence. We are the College of Management of the University of the Philippines, Visayas. Let us now watch the presentation of the School of Technology. Have you ever wondered how juices are made with perfection? Starting from the harvested fruits. Whether the juices are prepared inside a kitchen or formulated inside a laboratory and even processed from a manufacturing plant. Delivered in a wide variety of sizes, packagings, and flavors but by first making sure that they are meticulously formulated, monitored, and quality checked to meet the strict international and global standards. In order to fully satisfy the needs of one, a thousand, 
and even millions of customers worldwide. Remember, we have only talked about the production of one of our favorite drinks. But how about our favorite flavors of ice cream? Or the essential non-food products such as the fuels that make our cars run? I know I have your curiosities piqued about these products. But, that is just a small preview of what Sotec can offer you. With its lineup of top-notch programs, be ready to learn more. As a future chemical engineer from Sotec, you can specialize in different areas and interests such as energy, advanced materials, biotechnology, sustainable technology, food and drugs, and the oil and gas industries. As a chemical engineering student of Sotec, you will be a proud member of an institution that ranks first out of the different universities in the Western Visayas region and is ranked sixth in the Philippines in terms of performance in the chemical engineering board exams. On the other hand, as a skilled future food technologist from Sotec, you can choose different expertise to pursue in the industry such as research and development, quality control and assurance, food packaging technology, food safety, sensory and consumer science, and food processing technologies. As a food technology student, you will be able to join the army of international champions in the field of paper presentations and quiz bowls. With food technology, you can also pursue your graduate degree here at SOTEC. With Masters of Science in Food Science, you can choose to major in different areas depending on your interests, such as food microbiology, food engineering, food processing, and food chemistry. It is indeed without a doubt that with SOTEC, you will be set up to be the top engineers, technologists, and scientists worldwide. And now that you know what it will be like to be a part of SOTEC, let us take a virtual tour around your future second home. SOTEC is one of the constituent units of UP Visayas. Once you're here, you will be accommodated with a free bus going to SOTEC. Yes, completely free. Cool, right? Just make sure not to miss the different astonishing views along the way such as this one. You may want to peek out your bus window to see this beautiful one right here. Hold on, you may want to take a deep breath and take some time to appreciate the view of the mountains and the ocean. Looks like we have finally arrived. From your bus seats, you can clearly see the magnificent building in front of us that is SOTEC. The School of Technology envisions to be a lead institution in food, environment, and engineering, complementary to the mandate of the University of the Philippines Visayas. It focuses on producing globally competitive leaders and innovators who generate and transfer environment-friendly and rich to reef appropriate technologies. SOTEC also advocates for and contributes to sustainable development. Hi everyone, I welcome you to the School of Technology. Enjoy the tour.
So you have seen our Sotec facilities, our classrooms, laboratories, and offices. You have also met our faculty and staff. Our activities, though, are not confined within this building. We also work outside, reach out to the communities, and of course, have fun. And last but not the least, we have the UPV Tacloban College.
you very much to the colleges and school for your immense efforts in your video presentations. The bar just gets higher every year. It is also important for our students to know the people who ensure the efficient delivery of services in the university. Here are the unit heads and staff of the different offices under the offices of the vice chancellors.
Thank you very much to our vice chancellors, the unit heads, and their staff. Before we proceed, let us take a short break with an intermission number from a talented BA Communication Arts alumna of the UPV Tacloban College. To render us a song number, let us give a virtual round of applause to Ms. Rosary Jasmine Padilla. Thank you. 
much rosary for that entertaining performance the next part is when our students get to cheer for their respective batches as our university registrar suggests perhaps you can do so in the comfort of your homes to present the students of the university of the philippines visayas for academic year 2021 to 2022 let us welcome our University Registrar, Professor Nieves A. Toledo. Good morning. I would like to present to you the first year students this academic year 2021-2022. As of September 10, 2021, we already have more than 500 first year undergraduate students officially enrolled in UPV, Miagao, and Iloilo campuses and 373 in UPV Tacloban College. These first year students are from the College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences under the program Bachelor of Science in Fisheries. From the College of Arts and Sciences, Bachelor of Arts Community Development, Bachelor of Arts History, Bachelor of Arts in Communication and Media Studies, Bachelor of Arts in Literature, Bachelor of Arts in Political Science, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Bachelor of Arts Sociology, Bachelor of Arts in Applied Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, Bachelor of Science in Economics, Bachelor of Science in Public Health, and Bachelor of Science in Statistics. From the College of Management, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Business Administration Marketing, and Bachelor of Science in Management. From the UPV Tacloban College, Bachelor of Arts Communication Arts, Bachelor of Arts Economics, Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Bachelor of Arts Social Sciences Political Science, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, and Bachelor of Science in Management. From the School of Technology, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, and Bachelor of Science in Food Technology. To all our first year students, welcome to UPV. And to our returning students, we welcome you back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Toledo. To present the UPV University Student Council Officers for academic year 2021 to 2022, let us welcome Office of Student Affairs Director, Professor Agustin G. Huyo. Chancellor, Vice Chancellors, Deans of Colleges, other officials of the University, faculty, staff, and students, I have the honor to present to you the officers 
of the UPV University Student Council for school year 2021-2022. Chairperson, Angelica Del Rosario. Vice Chairperson for Iloilo City, Arvin Palomar. Culture and the Arts Committee Head, Zantheya Balinsat. Gender Committee Head, Jillian Martinada. People's Rights and Welfare Committee Head, Aya Sofia Gaite. Students' Rights and Welfare Committee Head, Jasmine Pama. Education and Research Committee Head, Jos Cesar Cirillo. Environmental Concerns Committee Head, Jan Ray Reyes. Health Committee Head, Andrea Marie Bolano. Mass Media Committee Head, Eru Torculas. Sports Committee Head, Andre Joshua Zamora. CAS Representative to the USC, Maria Rica Socorro Divina Gracia. Tacloban Representative to the USC, John Stephen Cornwell. CFOS Representative to the USC, Chelsea Pahila. SOTEC Representative to the USC, Isamin Duco. CM Representative to the USC, Rochelle Astrid Raimundo. Incoming USC Officers for College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences, USC Councilor Chelsea Pahila, CFOS Representative to the USC, Dejan Araneta, for School of Technology, USC Councilors, Tiger Hironelia, June Atos, Antonio Calanza, and SOTEC Representative to the USC, Claire Abid. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Huyong. It is truly an honor to introduce our next speaker to give his welcome message to our first year students. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the University of the Philippines System, Honorable Danilo L. Concepcion. Mayong aga sa inyo tanan, dira sa UPB Sayas. Sa aton mga pressmen, kag sa mga gapadayon, sang ila pagtuon, malipayon nga pag-abot, kag pagbalik sa UP. Now here we are, still gathering online. While this may not be the most ideal welcome or welcome back we can give you, this is still the safest. And your safety is what matters most. Let me first address our new students. You may be entering the university still doing remote learning. However, do not assume your life as a UP student will be precisely the same as when you were in high school. Three things will make your UP experience different. One, our values of honor and excellence in learning towards public service. Towards public service, that bears repeating because when you committed to being a UP student, you have taken on our now shared responsibility to serve our country and humanity. To act without honor and sincerity is superficial. To serve without excellence means not doing it the best we can. You will know what I mean as you go through UP life. Two, academic freedom. The liberty to learn, explore, and express ideas. The open atmosphere of constructive discussion and debate. We are here to nurture independent, creative, and critical thinking by opening up many avenues for you to gain and create knowledge. In UP, we try to cater to as many interests and inclinations as possible. You will not be told that there is only one way of thinking 
and doing things. And finally, diversity. Here in UP, you will be exposed to classmates and teachers with different backgrounds, beliefs, cultures, and practices. Respect and embrace this diverse community you now belong to. Learn from these differences to widen your perspectives. Uphold its and everyone's right and freedom to express himself within the bounds of ethical behavior. There is no room for discrimination in our university. Now, all of you were born in the age of the internet and social media. I am sure you have made friends on some online platforms. Treat your online classes the same way. I guarantee that one or some of them will be your new Barcada or BFFs. Perhaps here in UP you will find love, maybe even your forever. Many of our alumni can attest to this. Just try to strike a balance between your ACADs of social life and love life. Our dear freshman students, do not be afraid to ask for help. Whether your concerns are academic or personal, know that you have UP admin, your teachers, and your peers to turn to. Know that the UPV administration, through its Office of Student Affairs, is ready to assist you. To our upperclassmen, if you can, please reach out to our new scholar ng bayan and help guide them. If they are unaware of university processes, inform them, explain to them. You were once first-year students too, and if for some reason you did not receive the same guidance I am asking you to give our freshman students now, I appeal to your magnanimity. Be kinder than those before you. You are all here to learn together with and from each other. You may not be physically present on our campuses and the online setup may seem alienating, but still I ask you to not let this pandemic diminish or even extinguish your sense of community. To those who were able to live the pre-pandemic UP life, I know you miss it. We all do. And to last year's freshman class, remain hopeful that you will get to experience UP outside of the virtual world. I want to commend all of you, your tenacity in pushing through these uncertain times. Kapit lang. Alam kong madali itong sabihin, pero sa panahong ito at lalo na sa panahong ito ay mahirap gawin. Ginagawa namin sa abot ng aming makakaya ang lahat upang tugunan ang inyong mga pangangailangan. Humihingi ako ng pangunawa kung kami man ay may pagkukulang. Patuloy na bukas ang UP at ang UPV upang kayo ay pakinggan at tulungan. Sana tayong lahat ay magkaisa at magtulungan. I am sure we will wake up from these dark days. We will once again return to the scenic campuses of Miagao, Iloilo City, and Tacloban, enjoying both the cool mountain air and relaxing breeze from the sea. We will return to the busy and bustling city campus and become part of its exciting flurry of activities. We will get through this as one UP community. We may not go back to the pre-pandemic ways of life, but we will undoubtedly be more robust in the next normal of our university life. Hindi kita mawadaan sang paglaum. Madayon lang. Madamo nga salamat. Mabuhay. Thank you very much, President Concepcion. Dean Ramer P. Bautista of the School of Technology will now introduce this year's guest speaker. Good morning. I have the pleasure to introduce to you our guest speaker, Ms. Carol May I. Atutubo. Ms. Atutubo earned her BS degree in food technology from the University of the Philippines Visayas in 2002. Then, in 2013, she graduated at the University of the Philippines Diliman, 
with a degree of Master's in Technology Management and awarded the Most Outstanding Graduate of 2013. Ms. Atutubo has over 17 years of experience in restaurant systems and in marketing operations in the food industry. Currently, she works as the Assistant Vice President, Restaurant Systems Head for Fresh and Famous Foods Incorporated, Chow King. Previously, she held the Marketing Operations Director, this position also for Chow King. Her responsibilities as she leads the Restaurant Systems Department for Chow King include designing, standardizing, and implementing restaurant operating systems to enable Chow King stores to deliver a totally satisfying customer experience. She led, organized, and managed the organization's annual national sales convention for seven years from 2014 to 2020. As the marketing operations director, she managed the product development process through collaboration with various functional departments and operations at Chow King. She established and managed various execution frameworks, including project ideation and prioritization, and brilliant execution, which enable co-creation, collaboration, and successful product and project implementation and launches. She managed data generation and analysis for marketing, including business intelligence improvements through collaboration with other functional development or functional departments. As restaurant production systems manager, she established efficient and effective store kitchen production systems and processes across the entire chowking system. She initiated and led the, the, the development and improvement of kitchen processes for process simplification, maximization of space utilization, increased productivity, cost savings, and ergonomics applications. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome our excellent graduate, our very own, Ms. Carol May I. Atutubo. UP V Chancellor Dr. Camposano, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs Dr. Padilla, Vice Chancellor for Administration Professor Belano, Vice Chancellor for Planning and Development Dr. Ibabao, Vice Chancellor for Research and Extension Dr. Monteclaro, UP V officials, faculty and staff, returning students, dear freshmen, fellow scholars ng bayan, friends, maayong aga. Good morning. It's my pleasure to speak to you today. I had the best time in college. I loved Miagao or Miami as we fondly called it then. I stayed in the dorm and learned to be independent. I lined up during enrollment and filled up the very long Form 5. As a food tech student, I grew bacteria in petri dishes, counted them, and then killed them. I joined some rallies and went to a lot of parties. I went down the hundred steps but can't remember if they were indeed a hundred. I walked home from the beach with wet clothes. I formed a lot of friendships in UP, the kind that lasts, the we may not talk to each other every day yet we're there for each other kind. I lived, loved, laughed, and learned so much during my time in UPV. Being in UP prepared me for life. Thinking about these memories makes speaking here today so meaningful. Just like the line in UP Naming Mahal, di rin magbabago ang damdamin. Thus, I would like to thank one of my favorite professors, Ma'am Liza Lusada, for inviting me. Thank you as well to Dean Bautista of SOTEC and the committee. It truly is an honor for me to be here. Allow me to share three lessons I learned in UP and in life and to relate these with today's theme, Ululupod sa Pag-aram, Rising Above the Challenges of Remote Learning. The first lesson is this, you are not always the smartest person in the room, and that's okay. Passing the okkat is hard. Staying in UP is harder. Hence, we need to surround ourselves with people we can learn from. 
it's okay to ask for help and to clarify if your professor's instructions are confusing. Brené Brown, one of my favorite authors, wrote, We don't have to do all of it alone. We were never meant to. This lesson worked well for me during college. My Sawtech Batch 97 friends were an amazing support system. We learned so much from each other. I hope that despite the virtual classes, you can make connections and friendships. You would need those. Last year, I was invited to teach at UP Diliman. Since it was my first time, I knew nothing. Thank God for my sister, who also teaches my very millennial team in Chowking, for their inspiring virtual presentations, and for my very insightful MTM students. I managed to have two amazing semesters. Remembering that there are people I can learn from enabled me to navigate through the awkwardness of being a first-time professor and allowed me to enjoy my classes. In the spirit of learning together, we must be willing to listen to others. In Chow King, I learned to apply the no, as in K-N-O-W, nothing state. Using this mindset allows us to listen more actively to others, not kill ideas immediately, and expand our knowledge. Just a reminder for our students though, please do not take an exam knowing nothing. It's also important to harness the capacity for cultural intelligence at this time. This means being effective in unfamiliar interactions, especially now when everything is ambiguous and ever-changing. I saw this in my brother when he moved his family abroad two years ago. In UP, whether we realize it or not, we learn to be culturally intelligent. Given the diversity of the student profile, and the idiosyncrasies of each professor. The second lesson is this, it's okay to reboot or restart. If there's no Wi-Fi signal, if your laptop hangs, or if for some reason, Zoom is not working, go ahead and restart. Cut yourself some slack. Our situation now is difficult as it is. We must allow ourselves to fail fast, learn, and stand up again. It's very easy to say, but very hard to do. I grew up with parents who pushed us to be achievers. My nana is a perfectionist and I picked this up from her. I have made a ton of mistakes and done a lot of reboots. I got a 7% in my first exam in Math 11 and a 4% in my physics exam. I retook Chem 16. I failed in two jobs before Chow King. I've failed a couple of times as a leader in Chow King, but I've learned to pick myself up and be kinder to myself and others. While it's important to learn and to fight the challenges of remote learning together, it's more important to take care of yourself. Studying or working isn't fun if you don't like what you're learning or doing. I wasn't the best student in college. I was particularly bad in laboratory subjects but I persevered because I loved being a food tech student. A line from my favorite musical, Hamilton, comes to mind. I am the one thing in life I can control. Life gives us infinite chances. You always have the option to rise and start again. The last lesson is this, Padayon, because life goes on. They say that the rain falls on everyone. There may be days when you and I feel like languishing, and as cliche as it sounds, life really does go on. It's both a depressing and comforting thought at the same time. I always tell my team in Shaoqing, hindi lahat ng masarap madali. Accepting this reality makes it, makes it easier for us to move unceasingly, urgently, as the term padayon connotes. It's a familiar term in the UP community. As scholars ng bayan, we are called to persevere, continue forward, face the challenges COVID-19 has brought, and rise above it. They say that we are the cream of the crop, the creme de la creme, and we owe it to this institution and to the people who spend for our education to uphold UP's motto of honor and excellence. The onus is on us to be exemplary scholars ng bayan. 
most especially now at the height of the pandemic. We are urged to come together, to learn together, to help overcome the challenges, not just of remote learning, but also of the country we love. I hope that we don't lose the fire within us just because we're stuck at home. We must have honor and integrity, be willing to learn from others because we're not always the smartest, reboot when needed, move forward unceasingly, and don't forget, register to vote. To our dear students, especially the incoming freshmen, you have a whole world ahead of you. You will make mistakes, meet new people, fall in and out of love, ace a couple of subjects, and maybe fail some. You will learn a lot. I'm excited about what is to come for you. I hope that despite not being able to physically experience our campus, you will still be able to make wonderful UPV memories. Remember to relish every moment. Before I close, I want to say that this new way of learning will be both rewarding and frustrating. But as my tatay always tells me, you can do it. We can do it. Ululupod kita. There will be good days and bad days. There will be days when you feel like you don't have any energy to get up and get into another virtual class or virtual meeting. To that I say, padayon. Thank you so much. Have an amazing school year ahead. Thank you very much, Ms. Carol May I Atutubo. Your inspiring message to our first-year students will guide them as they embark on this new adventure. To show our gratitude, we would like to present to you the Certificate of Appreciation, which reads, University of the Philippines Visayas, Miagao, Iloilo, Philippines, presents the Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Carol May I. Atutubo, Assistant Vice President, Restaurant Systems, Chow King, UPVBS Food Technology Class of 2002, for being the guest speaker during the University of the Philippines Visayas opening exercises for the academic year 2021 to 2022, with the theme Ululupod sa pag aram Rising Above the Challenges of Remote Learning. Given this 13th day of September 2021 at the University of the Philippines Visayas, Miagao, Iloilo. Signed, Professor Encarnacion Emilia S. Yap, Chair of the Ad Hoc Committee on the 2021 UPV Opening Exercises, and UPV Chancellor Clement C. Camposano. The next part of the program is a traditional dance to be performed by our very own PE Department faculty members. So sit back and enjoy! Thank you. 
round of applause for the faculty members of the UPV PE department. Thank you very much for that amazing performance. To our students, you have successfully made it to the University of the Philippines, the first hurdle. The next, to survive. Doing so will need the support and encouragement of your fellow Scott Iska. Here to share with you his university story and some UPV life hacks, let us welcome your Manong or Kuya from the fourth year BSBA marketing program, Mr. Peter Leo L. Ladigohon. Good day, freshies. My name is Peter and I am an incoming fourth year student of BSBA marketing. Another year means another batch of students will enter the university and on behalf of the upperclassmen who came before you, we would like to welcome you all to the UPV community, especially in UP Visayas. Coming into college, I think you already have an idea that this is going to be a pretty wild ride and that this is one of the most important stages for your development, not just as a future professional, but also as a person. As freshies, we all have that common feeling of intimidation because of the new environment and the uncertainties that come with it. Add to the fact that times have drastically changed and that the UPV we experienced before is wildly different from the UPV that you will experience soon. Our batch is in a unique position as we have gone through half of our academic lives in the physical space of UP and the other half in its digital environment. So as part of us welcoming you into the UPV community, we would like to give you some key advice on how to make your stay here as meaningful as possible. So three things, right? The first is very common but still important to discuss. So number one is to take advantage of opportunities. UP is full of opportunities ranging from the local school orgs up to the external opportunities extended to us by outside institutions that range from local, regional, national, and even international scale. These opportunities can enhance your skills, enrich your future careers, and deepen your understanding of yourself and your interests. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Grab whatever opportunity you find to be worth your time and your effort. Second is to form and cultivate relationships. Here in UP, most especially in CM where we have a smaller campus, the community is very close and familiar with each other. Back then, we get to work on several programs, we've joined different events, we've joined different competitions. But don't forget that UP is full of diverse individuals with varying cultures and lifestyle that come from different places in the Philippines and have a wildly different language from what you or I know. This diversity will widen our perspectives and change our approach in the way that we take on different situations. So in order to take advantage of this diversity, always look forward to meeting new people and creating meaningful connections because diversity and collaboration often leads to better results. Lastly, is to be more comfortable in communicating with our teachers. I know some of us are shy and can find this intimidating, but honestly, several problems in school can be solved or even totally avoided just by proper communication. Hesitating to communicate can often lead to you not understanding your lessons properly, missing out on important details, and just, you know, overall confusion. The pursuit of honor and excellence can be very tough and demanding, but we always have to exert effort in order to find that balance that can help us thrive. And when times are hard, our teachers are there for us to talk to. So don't be shy to ask about the lesson, you know, if you want to have something clarified or if you have an output that you want to be consulted. Proper communication results in less academic stress and a more streamlined learning experience. So far, those are the advice that we can give you. Everything else is now for you to figure out on your own. But always remember that the college journey is not just yours to bear. It is a journey that we share with our parents and families, our friends, our classmates, our teachers, and even our supporters. So even with whatever uncertainty is in our path, by going through it together with these people, we get to rise above the challenges that come our way. And lastly, to end this message, I hate to say this, but it's because you've probably heard this a lot already, but this is true. You are one of the few to be given this type of opportunity, you know, quote unquote, the lucky ones. But it's going to be hard. It's going to test you and it's going to push you to your limits. So what I'm going to tell you now is for you to just own the experience, own the hardships, make it yours, use it to better yourself, let it fuel your dreams and your purpose. Because from now on, this is the start of you building for the future that you want. Because even with all those hardships, even with all those trials and tribulations, you can take comfort in the fact that things of immense value rarely comes easy. Again, Freshies, welcome to UPV and have a good day.
Thank you, Peter. Continue to do your best and to be an inspiring role model to others. We are very proud of you. And now, let us hear the response of the youngest members of our family, our Freshies. To give the speech on behalf of our first-year students, let us welcome, from the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science Program, Mr. Michael Reiniken O. Trifalgar. To Dr. Clement Camposano, Chancellor, Dr. Philip Ian Padilla, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Professor John Lawrence Bilano, Vice Chancellor for Administration, Dr. Rodelia Ibabao, Vice Chancellor for Planning and Development, Dr. Harold Monteclaro, Vice Chancellor for Research and Extension, Professor Nieves Toledo, University Registrar, Professor Encarnacion Emilia Yap, Dean of the College of Fisheries and Ocean Sciences, Dr. Alice Joan Ferrer, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Professor Melanie Sartorio, Dean of the College of Management, Dr. Raymer Bautista, Dean of the School of Technology, Dr. Patricia Arinto, Dean of the UPV Tacloban College, Professor Agustin Huyong, Director of the Office of Student Affairs, Faculty, Administrative Staff, Research, Extension, and Professional Staff, to the upper class students, to my fellow first year students, and to Ms. Carol May Atutubo, Good day. When I was younger, I had only known UP as the alma mater of my mother and family members. However, I would be lying if I told you that I did not associate UP the most with the Jollibee branch next to it. Back then, the General Luna branch had a play area with a very bright and colorful slide. Until now, I have yet to see a piece of architecture as beautiful as that slide. As oblivious as I used to be to the nature of the university, eventually, even as an outsider, you learn a thing or two about the university, its values, and the ideals it treasures. From what I have gathered from public impression, the news, personal experiences, and interactions with UP alumni, I have associated this university with critical and liberal thinkers with a strong sense of nationalism. I have had teachers and formators who were UP alumni, and even though they were the ones that I found the scariest, I always hold them in high regard. These were the teachers who challenged the way I thought. They always spoke boldly on issues that affect our country. Their views were always critical, and well thought out. So, when I finally received confirmation that my application to UP was accepted, I re-examined myself because I realized that I was nowhere close to the example set by the alumni I know. As a soft-spoken person who finds difficulty in expressing my own opinions without faltering, I knew that things had to change if I were to become a part of this institution. If I am to carry the ideals of the University of the Philippines, then I must work towards having that same passion and pride in my own convictions as I witnessed within others. I hope that my future here will allow me to cultivate and embody more of the values the university upholds. To my fellow first-year students, I am sure that at this point, you have heard your fair share of horror stories from the upper-class students and alumni. The kind of stories that involve looming deadlines, terror teachers, and sleep deprivation. Personally, I have heard of one that involves a research paper, typewriters, and a lot of whiteout. As daunting and discouraging as some of these sound, let us not be overwhelmed or be unsettled. Of course, we will encounter problems and our resolve will be tested, especially given the current situation. There will be instances where we'll find ourselves unmotivated and lacking. However, our growth comes from this constant process of struggling and overcoming setbacks. What truly matters is persisting despite everything. Let us make the most out of our UP education by building upon our failures and setting ourselves up for success. Thank you and have a good day.
Thank you, Michael. We are confident that you and your fellow Freshies will conquer what lies ahead. May you have a fun and fulfilling college journey. And for the most important part of today's program, we call on once again, Chancellor Clement C. Camposano. I now declare academic year 2021-2022 open. Padayon kita UP. Padayon kita sa UPV. Mabuhay tayong lahat. Concludes our opening exercises for academic year 2021 to 2022. Welcome to a new school year, a new beginning. Let us remain compassionate and courageous, and let us live by the principles of honor and excellence. On behalf of the committee members, thank you very much for joining us. Take care and keep safe. Mabuhay mga iskolar ng bayan!